Today, Sarah and I are going to make a traditional cookie that is used all across Italy during Carnivale. It's kind of like the Mardi Gras of uh, New Orleans. So here we're gonna prepare the dough. We're gonna use these eggs, crack them up, already beat them just a little bit. During Carnivale, children get to dress up, adults get to dress up in masquerades. There are all kinds of festivities in the town and in the cities, parties all over. And it's kind of like the last bang before the celebration of Lent and the restrictions of Lent. So here now we're also gonna add a little bit of this lemon zest to it. So mischief is pretty common during that time. In fact, there is a saying, a carnevale ogni scherzo vale. So any kind of trickery is accepted during that time. But also during that time, the, um, the tradition of making cenci in the homes and in the streets is very common. So here we have some olive oil that we're gonna put in there as well. A pinch of salt and some of this sugar. With the help of this fork, I'm going to begin to incorporate some of the flour. Uh, you can totally make this in your, um, in a machine. And by machine, I mean mixer. So let's put a little bit of butter in there, why not? Just a tad. And then we're also gonna add some of this Vinsanto which is a wine that is made from dried grapes, from raisins. Now I'm gonna use the spatula and bring all the flour in before we can knead the dough. And now the best tools ever, your hands. And I'm gonna bring everything together and then cover it up in some plastic wrap and put it in the refrigerator. Now look at this beautiful dough. We're gonna work it just a little bit longer before we allow it to rest for half an hour. The dough is nice and smooth. It smells very good because of the lemon zest. And now we're just gonna simply wrap it up in this plastic wrap and allow it to rest for half an hour. Time is up and we can take our dough out to make our chinchi. And do you know what chinchi means? Rags. And you will see why. They're just gonna be haphazardly cut and they kind of look like small rags. Now, as far as frying them, the lipid choice is gonna be lard, yes. You can do them in peanut oil or even um, in olive oil, but I don't wanna waste the olive oil for that. But lard is the traditional way of frying them. Let's heat the lard up. Contrary to what some may believe, the chenchi absorb less lard than they would oil in the frying process. We're gonna dust our work surface. And then with a rolling pin, we're going to roll it out very, very thin. If the dough ever resists and kind of wants to spring back, just give it a minute or so of rest. And now we're going to start to cut our chinchi. They're called in all kinds of different names in different parts of Italy, but bugia is one of them. Chiacchiere in another. We're just gonna cut them across this way. And these are gonna be our little rags. We're also gonna make a little slit right in the middle, just like so. Oops, that one is crooked. Now, some of them will actually take them and twist them in like this and fry them this way. But we're just gonna fry them just like so. 
we're gonna place them on this tray so it's gonna be easy to carry them outside to the oven. And the little leftover pieces will just make little teeny chinchi. Our oil has reached temperature and now we're going to put this absorbent paper in here when our um, chinchi come out. We're gonna place them in here without overcrowding. You see how they look kind of like small rags? And now they're ready to be cooked. And taken out. Let's just get rid of excess grease and place them right on here on the carta sorbente on this absorbent paper. Here we go with the last ones that are ready to come out. We'll just let them drip a bit. Our chinchi can be taken off. And now we're gonna cover them up with some powdered sugar. And this is what's gonna make them very, very good. And now just a little bit of Vin Santo. We are ready to enjoy our chinchi. And I'm gonna taste one right now. Mmm. Nice and crunchy. And it reminds me of Italy. Buon appetito.